Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. With great marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence. online before right i've never seen these you've never seen these robert no really i've never seen these for real you're lying what do you mean they're so trendy right now huh they're so trendy right now i said you you're know just like offline bf <laughs> don't say that <laughs> but they're cool you can like snap them together Welcome back to a new studio vlog. I just got these crates. I succumbed to marketing. Sometimes these ads really get you. Me at least, like if I see something enough, I'll naturally start to want it more. But they genuinely are quite cute. I think what put me over the edge is when I was working at Vicky's apartment, I just like was looking at all of them in her apartment and I was just like, yeah, I want them. <laughs> these are like the hay crates that a bunch of people have already. And yeah, I'm just, I'm always looking for new ways to make my storage system a little nicer. Today is Thursday, so it's the end of my work week because I'm trying out this new four day work week thing and I'll, guide, I'll let you guys know later on the video how it's going for me. Uh, but so far this week has been so easy going. I mean, I put up a video this week, I edited. Um, but other than that, this week has been really chill. I just like really took it a lot easier, easier than I usually do and I am already feeling a lot better um but i can only hope you know it just keeps going up from here um and i do think the four day work week is going to help me a lot so i'm excited to have a day off tomorrow yeah this studio vlog is going to be very chill a lot of recovering from a very very busy past like honestly two or three months of working and like grinding so yeah, I think this in this vlog, we're gonna go shopping for art supplies. We're gonna work on some painting, gonna do some organizing. Yeah, it's gonna be, gonna be very, very chill. See you in a bit. Do these fit in here? Kind of, they do like this. the color I like 
a lot of frolic room. I know, I wonder what like it was. Fifth one I, saw. I wonder where this is. This was in Waycross, Georgia. This one is tempting. This one is snowy. The one about coffee and gin. I don't like coffee and I don't like tea and gin. He likes <laughs> me. There's so many of these funny elephant ones. Oh. <laughs> this is cool. Vans in Burbank. Hey. This pink one, I really like this one. <laughs> 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 is this a bagel dust? I know, it doesn't keep the vibe. <laughs> Before we go any further, I would like to thank our sponsor, which is Squarespace. Squarespace can help you build a beautiful website, online store, portfolio, etc. One of my favorite things about Squarespace is that they have these really beautiful templates you can choose from that make images and tags look great. Also, I like that if you don't want to use a template, you can start from scratch too. I was feeling very adventurous, so I just started with a blank page on this day. And because the Squarespace design tools that you use things like blocks and image spacers, it still comes out looking really clean and professional. I got reached out to by a local Los Angeles business um, to do wholesale. So of course I went to my Squarespace website to try to make a wholesale catalog. And I really, really love how it came out. I also like how Squarespace, you can edit the pictures inside the website instead of editing it beforehand and uploading it in. For some reason, it's just like, it helps a lot and saves me a lot of time. I highly recommend Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Megan Wang for 10% off your first purchase. morning it's monday morning i'm trying out some new camera settings so i seriously hope the footage looks okay um, my friend benji came over this weekend and he actually like went through my camera and fixed a lot of the settings for me so if you're watching this benji thank you very much um so i hope that my footage is going to look a little better from here on out just because i don't think i was using um, my camera like the right way um but i'm feeling kind of stressed today we're dealing with a bug situation that I won't get into. Um, it's handled, it's just stressful. I'm just gonna paint today. I have these like little, um, they're like these little square canvases I got from Blick like a while ago. Um, the other day at Blick, I got a bunch of um, nice heavy body acrylic paint. 
Lately I just haven't been wanting to use acrylic paint because I don't want to splurge on like nice acrylic paint but I'm sure if you've used like cheaper acrylic paint you know like it's so plasticky and really unpleasant to use um, so I just haven't been using acrylic but I was like you know what I'm gonna try to just treat myself even though it's like my job I'm gonna get myself some nice acrylics and um, work on some acrylic paint because I don't know I feel like I've been using a lot of gouache lately and I think the look I'm trying to achieve might be a little easier with acrylic I actually made this but the cookie won't come off so it just looks like this now Hello, it's voiceover time. I feel like every video needs to have a voiceover now. If I don't have a voiceover in the video, I'm like, it doesn't feel finished. Um, but here I am doing a voiceover. Um, I really, really like how this painting eventually came out. Uh, you're gonna see me paint the background like a bajillion different colors because I can never decide what color to make the background. Um, so at the end of this painting segment, it's not the finished look. I end up painting it green and red, and I really like the finished product. So I definitely think this is not the end of my acrylic painting era. Like maybe I'm gonna get really into acrylic painting because I just really like how the colors can layer in texture. I feel like when I was a kid, I like would do a lot of acrylic paint. So I guess maybe I have this association that it's gonna look um, how my paintings looked when I was a kid, just like obviously not very good. Um, but adult acrylic paints are actually really, really nice and create really beautiful textures. So yeah, I, I am very, very inspired by Tiffany, aka Apple Cheeks acrylic paintings. I'm not sure, I think she uses acrylic, um, but I just love Tiffany's paintings. And also there's this artist called Charlotte May who makes like amazing paintings. And I think she uses acrylic too. So yeah, I, I just, I'm really proud of myself for kind of branching out and trying something new. Um, I guess that's the beauty of experimentation. <laughs> you learn new stuff about yourself and yeah, I really like how my style kind of translated into this painting. Um, I was also very stressed on this day. If you notice from the previous clip, I, I looked down in the dumps. So <laughs> I really wasn't doing well um, on, on this day, but um, it was really nice to just be able to paint the whole day away um, and it, it was actually extremely relaxing to paint on such a large canvas normally i paint on very tiny things and yeah maybe i should get into you know bigger pieces i mean i don't have a whole lot of space but you know if i move in the future and get a bigger space i'm definitely going to work larger um yeah yeah all right i don't have anything else to add so i'm gonna leave you now thank you for listening to my voiceover goodbye <laughs>
Duolingo is good for learning. I'm doing well, thank you. Jazz and Chaos, thank you for the luck. Trying to figure out what you need for breakfast. Why all the muffins I got you ran out? <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they've been gone for the longest time. Yeah. <laughs> Those things didn't even last for six days, five days. <laughs> <laughs> Bon appétit! Furukake really improves the presentation a lot. What are you doing? His whole ass is on your keyboard. Oh, I hate how they choose my desk. <laughs> you have the better view, that's why. Come on. You can't be on there, dude. Come on, get down. He's gonna send an email. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I changed it again, um, but I like this one a lot more. I think the colors are more. I don't know, just better. I really like the two colors like this, and I think I blended them much better than I was yesterday. This is what we're working with. I hate taking flat lays. I really despise it, but honestly, the light in here is getting a lot better, I guess, because it's becoming summer, so. I take a bunch and then I just decide like which one I want to use later, but I typically just like really bump up the exposure and the saturation. Not to a crazy amount. And then I'll pop on, I really like this AL3 filter. You actually have to pay for it though, which is kind of annoying. And I don't like to put like it all the way, but maybe like halfway. Look, that's nice. Ta-da! I have been really enjoying painting um, with the palettes that I've made. It's just like very satisfying to know I made this from scratch. Um, but I said yesterday, you know, I feel like it's done. I don't want to overwork it. But I went back this morning and added a lot more to it. I think because I just wasn't totally satisfied and I knew I could make it a little better. I just put it on my iPad and tried to figure out some more colors. And I'm really feeling this green and red combo much more than what I had before. But I was supposed to work on my Patreon original yesterday, but I just didn't get around to it. I'm feeling so much better today, by the way. I got like a really good night's rest and I just feel like a new person. I don't know how... I don't know. I feel like if I don't get like seven to eight hours, I'm just like useless for the day. Um, I just really need my sleep these days, but I'm going to paint these today, but I've really been enjoying painting. I had a really good time working on this, so.
this dressing. So I made this like chickpea, quinoa, tomato, red onion, cucumber bowl with a cashew lime cilantro dressing. Yeah, <laughs> that's all the stuff that's in here. <laughs> I've been having this lunch for like the past like two days, uh, but instead of chickpeas, I had sweet potatoes that I roasted in the oven and it's been really good. Um, I'm trying to eat healthier just so I can feel better in my body. And I also feel like when I don't plan ahead, I naturally gravitate towards food that like doesn't really make me feel good. And there's nothing wrong with like eating chips and eating like junk food. Like I, I don't believe in like making yourself feel bad for not like eating healthy. Um, but it just started to make me like my body not feel great. Um, and this stuff like really makes me feel full and energized. So I'm gonna try to eat some healthier lunches these days. And so over the weekend, I pre-cooked like a bunch of quinoa and I pre-chopped cucumbers and red onions. So I found that throwing together these lunch bowls has been really easy for me because it's all like pre-made. these blue light glasses they're super cheap i got them off amazon for like five dollars but i think they've been actually making a difference um with like my headaches and stuff because i feel like sometimes especially when i'm packing at the end of the day i just get like a raging headache um and i definitely think it's because of the blue light and i was just like why not try this out and it's really working they're pretty funny too i got like square frames I don't know, I think it's funny. And right now I'm packing up some of my Patreon originals. I finished them much faster than I expected, I guess because they're kind of mini, um, but here's one of them. I think it's super cute. I really love how they all came out. I feel like every month I kind of dread making these originals just because sometimes I'm like, I don't know what to make and I feel like there's so much pressure with making something that looks nice and I'm not the best or I'm not the most confident with traditional art. Honestly, I'm way more comfortable on my iPad, but I do think it sort of forces me to practice every month. I always debate all the time, like, should I get rid of it? Should I get rid of it? Because I do find it quite time consuming. Like it takes like a whole day or more. If I got rid of it, would I practice as much? And I really don't think I would. So for now, I'm gonna keep it. It also comprises a big chunk of my Patreon income. So I'm gonna keep it for now. I think this week I'm actually going to try to finish all tax related stuff. Um, I thought we could chat about that really briefly just cause I think I had a funny ish experience with this. Um, I had no idea that self-employed taxes are so high. My taxable income last year really wasn't that high at all, but the amount of taxes I have to pay, I was looking at that form and I was like, that's a lot of money. I actually really want to find like my own accountant that specializes um, and freelance stuff because I think that would just be very helpful. I also want to see if I can, whoever I find can also help me file quarterly instead. And I heard that's like less overwhelming than giving like all the money at the end of the year. Um, but because I was like, this is my first time actually um, being self-employed on my taxes because last year I just didn't make enough at all to even qualify. So I made like a little private Instagram story for some of my art friends and I was just like, 
is it normally this high? Like, am I doing something wrong? Is every do you guys also experience this? And I got so many messages from people just being like, yeah, standard is like 30% of your income. Just like, why don't you just tax billionaires more instead of me who made like less than $12,000 on stickers last year. But I mean, whatever. In case you didn't know, another unglamorous side of being self-employed is that about 30% of your income goes to taxes. So, um, yeah. <laughs> also, I disclaimer, like I'm not against paying your taxes. Like obviously we should pay our taxes, <laughs> but I'm just saying like it's a lot more when you're self-employed. I wanted to give you guys a little update on how my four day work week is going. It's going pretty well. I've already done it for one week, um, like one and a half weeks. And I feel pretty good. Um, I have some personal stuff going on right now that's totally unrelated to work that is stressing me out a bit. But um, aside from that, like I think having the four day work week is really helping me just kind of decenter work. I saw this TikTok that was just like, treat your life like your full-time job and like your job, like your side hustle. And like, I know like you don't have to frame everything in work terms, but for me that kind of helped because it's just like, I feel like that TikTok kind of explained like my mindset shift and why that's helpful. Um, I just feel like by having the four day work week and having three days to not work, it's helping me just spend more time with life on my Friday off. I went to Target, which I love to do. I love to walk around Target and shop and just like get little home things. I've been really enjoying like thinking about little ways I can decorate the apartment a little more. Um, and I got a frame, I got a clothes hamper. Actually at checkout, this lady was like, I love that clothes hamper. And I was like, thanks, me too. And I was a little on the fence about it because I was like, it is a little expensive. But she was just like, I hate looking at my clothes hamper. It's so ugly every day. And I was just like, me too. So I feel like that conversation and that interaction was like the confidence I needed to make that purchase. I crocheted a little, I played Animal Crossing, but it's been nice. I've hung out a lot of friends this past weekend. Benji, Chris, and Vicky came over and we watched Turning Red and it was so good. I cried a lot. Um, it was just a beautiful Beautiful, beautiful movie. I highly recommend watching it if you haven't already. Um, but that was really nice to see them. Theo also came over. Theo is Benji and Chris's little cute chihuahua. Rover looked, took one look at Theo and just like turned immediately and like went to go hide in our bedroom under the covers. But it was just really fun to see them. And then on Sunday, my friend Salon came over and we played video games and like ate cookies and just like hung out. I just feel like with the extra day, it's giving me, like I said, more space to just like do life things and help to decenter my work. Um, but also it's giving me enough time to like rest, but also like do stuff and socialize. Um, if you're self-employed and you have the ability to figure out your own schedule, I really highly recommend a four day work week. It's kind of exciting. I feel like a part of me was like, well, if I don't work, like what am I gonna do? I feel like my second nature is just to like check my phone, check my email, go on Instagram, like plan stuff for the shop. Um, and it takes up so much of my brain space. So it's not like my nature. Like I feel like my brain isn't accustomed to thinking about like, oh, what are some things I can do for myself outside of work that will be really fun and make me happy. Um, I feel like it's just like work and then recovering from work. And I still do fun stuff, but it's, I feel like I'm not really investing enough um, into like my own life and like living and enjoying myself. Editing me is gonna have a, is gonna be so mad at me for talking so much. So I'm gonna go. Hey, Rover. Do you miss Robert? Hmm? Good evening, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking dinner because it's my turn. Robert and I will literally just alternate. So one night he'll cook, one night I'll cook. And then on Fridays we eat out. That's like our little meal schedule. But it's my turn to cook and I'm gonna be making chicken sandwiches. I've been trying to take it easier, <laughs> just like, Sometimes I'll cook super elaborate meals and cooking is just like very time consuming and labor intensive. But I decided like it's okay to use like frozen food and just things that make my life easier. So I, we got these chicken patties. I'm just going to cook them in the oven and then I'm going to chop up some like lettuce and tomatoes. And then I'm gonna like toast the buns and some olive oil. It'll be good. But first things first, um, let's chop up the sweet potato. Does anyone else do this like right into the trash? Cause I just don't feel like cleaning it later. 
also today I made like a little Instagram post asking people um, like just what they would like to see from my YouTube channel. I'm totally of the opinion that I should just make whatever content I feel like making, but I am always curious what people are most interested in. Um, and I got a couple comments that were asking for more cooking segments and I also enjoy watching people cook. I think my vlogs lately haven't had so much cooking just because I've been so tired that I just haven't had the energy to really like pull out my camera and vlog um because i'm just so burnt out from the day but since i've been feeling a bit more energetic lately i thought why not start having some more casual cooking time um because i do i have felt like my vlogs lately have been missing something and i just think it's like this very casual um energy to my videos i feel like sometimes when i'm just showing myself working and stuff it can get a little um i don't know it's not like the fun, easygoing vibe I try to make. I also got a lot of responses from people asking to like show what I do on my days off and like going outside more and like, oh, take taking you guys on my walks. And while I would absolutely love to do that, I don't want to dox myself. Like it, if you make YouTube videos, it's actually very, very important to make sure you don't show too much of where you live, like your street and stuff. And I walk in my neighborhood, so I definitely don't want to showcase that. And also a lot of the times when I'm out and about, I'm literally just like enjoying myself with friends. So, and then a lot of the times like when I am like outside and doing like interesting stuff that I feel like people would be interested in seeing, I'm like, I'm out with my friends and I don't really always want to not be in the moment because I'm too busy like vlogging, trying to capture things to make my videos interesting, but also recognizing that like, it's okay to not film everything and just enjoy the moment. And it's funny because like a lot of my friends here in LA all are also on YouTube, but I think it's nice how like a lot of us just like chill when we hang out together and it's not always like a, a filmable moment. And yeah, I don't know. If you have a YouTube channel as well, you probably understand. Like it's very tricky to draw these boundaries because I find myself also like, even when I'm just like enjoying my life, sometimes I'll get like a thought in my head that's like, ooh, this would be really great for the vlog. Um, but then and I'm like, wait, just like enjoy. You don't have to like always think about like how something's gonna be perceived on YouTube, you know? So it is kind of tough to um, set boundaries when you vlog a lot of aspects of your life. Um, so yeah, I, I wanna film more of myself like out and about, but also, I don't know, I'm trying to make sure like I have a healthy work-life balance because YouTube is very much work. Yeah. With that being said though, I really want, now that I'm feeling a lot better and hopefully like with the four day work week and more energy, I can have more like cozy home moments like this because these are honestly like my favorite parts of living, if that sounds weird. Like I really love like small domestic moments in the day. Like, okay. Hello there. Guys, mom. Good mom, baby. Why do you look so shocked? It's just a camera, babe. So I decorated the tree jar. I got some Knives Meow Radia stickers on here. This is by Kat Travato. That's my sticker. Um, and yeah, they know what this jar has. Okay, Robert, ready? Paw? Rover paw. Paw. Okay, Cosmo up. Rover sit. Sit. And paw. You don't let me shake, you're not gonna get the tree, babe. Cosmo up. Good job, Cosmo. Good job. Oh, you're so handsome.